Today's objective is to create a web page comparing and contrasting computer components. Now that you can launch your own website either from GitHub or Google Drive or just from your desktop, um, I want us to cr start creating websites to fulfill the lessons that we have in this course. So it's a dense day today, lots of new information to analyze as we learn about hardware. Um, today we'll help you establish a mindset for what type of hardware you'll need to uh, get your job done. Or say you grow up and you just uh, never go into a tech field. Um, I'm sure you or your family or your children um, or your friends may buy a computer and in this case you'll be able to help them understand what they're looking at. So what we've not started, we haven't started uh, using digital tools such as PayPal that'll be coming up. We're currently in progress um, in terms of learning web page creation so using HTML to get the content up is great and there's so much more to learn. Uh, what we have completed is creating a GitHub repository and establishing files to uh, launch a website. Alright, so you're going to have a final product today. As we near the end of the day, don't panic if the GH page isn't updating fast enough to show your changes when I log in later. Um, the browser will render your last commit, or in the case of Google Drive, your last save. Think of your repository as one giant folder. We can add other files in this folder and link them to each other as long as they are all in the same repository. So today I'm going to show you how to do this nav bar. So, Step one, read an ad for a computer and understand the jargon. If you look at this giant pink square, there's a lot of information here. I want you to think, take a moment, think right, share. What do you understand in this ad and what is confusing? If you need help here, I could read it to you a little bit. It says Intel Pentium 4 uh, processor. Okay, at 3.06 gigahertz, you have 512 megabytes of dual channel shared SDR. RAM at 333 uh, megahertz, 80 gigs of uh, hard drive, 17 inch flat panel display, integrated Intel Extreme Graphics 2 for your graphics card, uh, you got a DVD read and read write drive with the CD-ROM included of course, integrated 5.1 audio with Dolby Digital 5.1 capability, Roxio e Easy CD Creator, so okay this looks like some software. Alltech Lansing, um, surround sound speakers with subwoofer, subwoofer. <laughs> and then 56K uh, PCI data fax modem. You got WordPerfect on here and six months of America Online membership included. Anyone into retro stuff will definitely understand that last piece. So Let's start small using the initial specs you can view from a search for Chromebooks on Amazon.com. So when you search Chromebooks, you might find something like this Asus. It has 11.6 inch screen, ruggedized and water resistant. So it's $179 and at the bottom right here you have uh, four and a half stars. You have some more information, the display size, the operating system, CPU model family, computer memory size, and hard disk size. So that is the basic information I want you to focus on today. You're going to search on Amazon two different Chromebooks and use that information to display on a web page. So I do not see gigahertz, so I have to click the link, but it takes only a few seconds to find. So on this one, I found 2.5 gigahertz. So make sure you're writing down um, memory size and hard disk size, as well as um, this processor speed. So most people, <clears throat> excuse me, most people should zero in on RAM or computer memory size if they are interested in multitask internet browsing. So that's my personal recommendation. I am all about the RAM. I'm not so um, caring about the gigahertz. Um, as long as it's, I feel like, two and above, I'll be just fine. Um, and then you know me as a, a person who's definitely using the computer a lot. So you might even survive with uh, less than two gigahertz. Gamers will want to pay attention to the gigahertz speed so they don't suffer from lag. Okay, so I'm not playing a lot of games on the computer. I use my uh, PS4 or Xbox One for that. Now, data hoarders, that is people who like to collect movies, music, photos, um, 
or programmers and web developers, you guys might care about a large uh, hard disk size. And even if you don't buy a computer with a large hard disk, you can buy an external drive, that's fine too. So, think right share, what numbers do you care about? Now that I've explained why some people care about the numbers that they do, um, go ahead and tell me why you care, what numbers you care about and why. So, here's the process for creating additional pages. In your html.index file, you're going to have something that looks like this, and what this does is create a navigation bar for you. So here's the HTML, you're going to copy that down um, exactly right now. Now you're going to create a new file in your repository named main.css. So that's a totally separate folder. Here's the CSS for um, the navbar. So inside main.css, this is what you're typing. And again, type it exactly, please. Now don't worry about copying that down yet. Let's just keep going. So in my example, I use home, news, etc. But every time you create a, a web page, and a website, so a website where you visit several pages, you'll rename that nav bar to whatever you need. And a lot of websites have these navigation bars. For our example today, we're going with RAM and processor, display, and storage. And that's where you'll put the information you find on the two Chromebooks. And this should be called Sisyphus. So using your Sisyphus repository, this is one of those throwaway websites we're creating. So you're just going to create it all up so I can see it and then destroy it. You don't have to worry about walking around knowing um, you have a website comparing two computers, two different um, Chromebooks, okay? Um, basically, this video goes over the same things I did. Um, just with a different voice and different visuals, if that's what you like. Since we're in IB school, I am adding these questions to the end of each of my lessons. So all you need to do is just choose one of these seven questions to answer. Make sure you post that to Canvas. Okay, so after you've gone through all that research and all that creation, you're developing a web page comparing two different types of Chromebooks using a navigation bar for each of the following home, RAM, processor, display, and storage. What are the most important factors to consider when purchasing hardware? So that's just a question I'd like you to answer on Canvas. Number one, I'll be able to check um, by going to your website.